So this is a chessboard. It has 64 squares and the letters A, B, C, these are called files and 1, 2, 3, the numbers are, are called ranks. And that's basically all you need to know, because for the piece placement you're gonna learn that as you play more games. Now go to Leeches and click on Learn and Chess Basics. Here we're gonna see how the pieces move, so click on the Rook. So this is the Rook. The Rook moves in straight lines and it can go to any square it wants. Uh, but it cannot jump over pieces, so I cannot go here because this star is in the way. So here we just take the star and I'm gonna do one more. As you can see, we just go take and take. Now do the, the rest of them by yourselves uh, and let's go to the bishop. Uh, the bishop is basically a rook, but it only moves on diagonals, so it can also go to any square it wants. Um, there is only one difference, we have two types of bishops, light squared and dark squared ones. So this is a light square one, so it can only move on light squares. Um, so here we just take and take, I'm gonna do one more, so take, 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 here and take. Um, and here we have a dark squared one, so this one only goes on the dark squares. But let's move on to the queen. The queen is basically a bishop and a rook combined, so if this was a bishop it could go to these squares, and if this was a rook it could go to all of these squares. Now if I click on the queen, you can see that the queen can go on all of those squares. So here we just go forward and then diagonally. One more, so take, take, take and take. Okay, let's move on to the king. Uh, the king can go to all of the directions, but only for one square. So here we can go like that or this one. And one more, so just take everything. Let's move on to the knight. Um, the knight moves in kind of a L shape, so two squares down and one to the left, so it can go to all of these squares. Uh, and the knight is also the only piece that can jump over pieces, so for example if there was a wall here, a wall of pieces, it can still take this star, because it can jump over the, the wall. Uh, this one we just take everything, so take, 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 take and take. Now let's move on to the pawn. The pawn is the only piece that doesn't capture in the direction that it goes. So the pawn moves forward, but it captures on the side. Now this one is on the rim, so it cannot capture to the left, but let's say if the pawn was here, the pawn could capture on this side and also on the right side. And there is also two other abilities that it has. The pawn obviously starts on the second row for white and on the seventh row for the black. So this one is a white one, so it started here. Now where, when it's on the second row, it can move two squares up or just one, it, it depends on, on how you want to move it. But once it, it leaves the, the second row, then it only goes for one square. And the last, the last rule, when the pawn reaches the eighth, the eighth rank, or for the black pieces the first rank, it promotes to any piece it wants. So this one, if we push it all the way, as you can see, we can promote it to any piece. So here we can promote to a queen or also a bishop, because this pawn is on the diagonal. So we just take and I'm gonna do one more. So here we're gonna promote to a knight, because the, the stars are set up in this way. So knight and we take. Obviously 
the majority of the time you're gonna promote to a uh, to a queen and here we can see the the pawn captures to the to the side and not forward so take take and take um, and yeah that's it that's how the the pieces move